The firebombing at a pro-life organization in Wisconsin has some asking, why isn't the attack being considered terrorism by the Department of Justice? And now, as activists descend on the Supreme Court justices' homes over the leaked Roe v. Wade draft opinion, the GOP is taking a stand. Republican Senator Ron Johnson calling out the federal government for failing to address these attacks by the far left, writing, quote, there are currently mobs outside of the residences of Supreme Court justices, and once again, DOJ, FBI, and DHS have yet to condemn these activities. Senator Ron Johnson joins us now. Senator, thanks for being here. We're talking Molotov cocktails, graffiti, arson attacks at a pro-life organization in your state of Wisconsin, yet seemingly nothing. Uh, well, good morning. And of course, they're happy to label parents showing up at the school board meetings concerned about uh, indoctrinating our children, domestic terrorists. Here's the def FBI's definition of a domestic terrorism incidents. It says an ideologically driven criminal act, including threats or acts of violence made in furtherance of a domestic ideological goal. I, mean, I think throwing a Molotov cocktail into a pro-life office uh, fits that definition. But apparently uh, the FBI director, Merrick Garland, and the president of the United States does not. They're not even speaking out against it. And I don't know what kind of resources they're putting into investigating the perpetrators of that act versus the largest FBI investigation in the history of this nation uh, about people who walked into the Capitol through doors that were open for them. You're exactly right. You wrote the letter. You've given them till May 27th to respond, which is a lot of lead time. And it's not as if we don't know who this pro-abortion group is. It's reported to be Jane's Revenge. So we know who's doing this. We know it's ideologically motivated, yet it is silence. Why would they choose, A, not to say anything and potentially do very little? Because, unfortunately, we do not have equal justice in this country. Uh, you take a look at the, the kid glove approach to the 2020 summer rioters. Uh, our, our sitting vice president actually encouraged people to uh, donate to the uh, bailout funds of the Minneapolis rioters. Uh, you take a look again how, how they are putting all kinds of resources. By the way, I condemn the violence on January 6th. But there are so many people who just showed up. Uh, peacefully protesting, mm -hmm. and they've been targeted. Uh, you have an you have an unequal uh, level of justice, in this country. Take a look at how they're uh, how they've delayed justice with Hunter Biden, for example. Do we know anything about this particular case? Have the suspects, the perpetrators, been arrested, identified? What do we know? I mean, this is a arson firebombing attack on a specific location. Have you gotten any details? Now, as far as I know, we just know the name of the group, Jane's Revenge. Uh, I don't know to what extent the federal officials are even aiding the Madison uh, Police Department or anything else, and that's why I'm asking my letter. You know what? What are you going to do to investigate this and bring these perpetrators to justice? Have you ever seen anything like this, where an administration is completely unwilling to condemn the harassment of Supreme Court justices? Uh, I think you correctly draw the contrast between some people who happen to walk into the Capitol vis-a-vis -vis these direct threats to people. Any sense that anything will be done to protect the justices? Uh, I certainly hope so. But again, for my, I'm not a lawyer, but my understanding of the law is it is illegal to intimidate a judge and certainly Supreme Court justice to get them to uh, change their, uh, their ruling. What else would you call a mob outside the Supreme Court justice's house? Uh, that's intimidation. It's illegal. It should be condemned by the president, by his spokesperson. It should be in, uh, investigated and should be stopped by federal law enforcement. And it's not. Well, Senator, if you get an answer to your letter or any additional information on this attack against pro-life groups, let us know. We'd love an update. We appreciate you being all over it. Senator Ron Johnson, thank you. Have a good day. You got it. You too.